Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the upper rack assembly on your dishwasher and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a number 15 torque screwdriver and a small flat blade screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair we're going to start by opening the dishwasher. We'll remove all of the items on the upper rack. Then we're going to pull the side rails forward. And we're going to release the rack stops. So with a flat blade screwdriver, just depress that little tab on the top. Then lift the rack stop completely out. And we'll set that aside. You can then pull the rack completely out of the dishwasher. And we'll just push those rails back in and close it up. Then we're going to set it on a suitable work surface where we can remove the upper spray arm assembly. So our next step will be to remove the upper spray arm assembly. Now the rear mounting bracket is clipped onto the horizontal wires in the center of that rack. There's a little tab that we just press in on to release it. The one on either side. And once we've released that, we can pull it towards the center and then lift it free. Now to release the center mounting bracket, we're going to you'll note that there is a tab on either side. We're going to start by just releasing one of them. So compress it and then push the bracket down. Now with only one side released, we'll then compress that bracket so it clears that single wire and then is only attached by one. Then we'll turn it over again and release the second side. Again, we'll just depress that tab. And then we have the whole spray arm assembly ready to install in the new rack. At this point, we can discard the old rack. Now, if your rack has a non-adjustable mounting bracket, you will want to remove those from your existing rack and transfer them onto the new rack. If it's an adjustable one like this, we will discard them with the rack and install the new ones that came with the kit. Now to install the adjustable rollers on the new upper rack, we'll first of all need to locate the left and right hand side of the rack so that we put the appropriate wheel assembly on the correct side. Now when these are installed, the wheels will be outside of the rack and the adjustment knob will be on the inside. We want to line up the rear wheel with the rear opening. Once you've located where that should be, fit the adjusting knob through the large portion in the rack. And we'll take the cover, and you'll note inside that cover there is a little tab on the bottom. We'll make sure that that fits into the adjusting rod. and press it up against the side of the rack. Now there's a little cutout in that cover that will line up with that rail. We'll next take the back portion of that cover and we're going to fit that in so that the screw holes line up and then we'll install the number 15 torque screws to secure it. Just tighten those securely and then just verify that the Rollers will move up and down freely. And then we'll repeat that procedure on the opposite side. So with the wheel assembly in the proper position, we'll again make sure that we stick that shaft on top of that pivot point. And then press the cover up against the side of the rack. Slide the outside piece into position. And then install the two retaining screws. And check for proper operation of the adjustment. Now to install the folding shells, we'll first of all need to install the mounting brackets. So locate the position on the side of the rack where they will be positioned. Engage one end on a vertical tine. Slide the other one down into position and then snap it down until it's secure. To install the Folding shelf. We'll want to sit that hook portion at the back, 
over the two pivot points. And just line them up and then press them firmly into position. Now to install the folding shelf on the front of the rack, you need to position the mounting bracket in a slightly different position than the original. And you may need to just bend it a bit to get it into position and then press it down until it locks. And again, we're going to line up these two openings with the pivot pins and press it into position. Now next we'll put the upper spray arm back on. Now next we'll install the upper spray arm back onto the rack. So we'll begin by locating the center opening in the rack. And we're going to fit that bracket through on one side. And then press it down until it locks in place. And then flip it over. And we'll push the bracket through from the bottom until it's all the way inserted. Flip it back over and then press it down until it locks. Now to install the rear mounting bracket, we'll fit it over the inlet tube. We'll line up these notched areas with the two wires that run side to side at the back of the rack. We'll fit that down inside and then press it up into place until the locking tab engages. Go to the reverse side, compress it, push it down into the rack, and then snap it back up into position. Make sure both sides are locked. And now we can put the rack back in the dishwasher. Now to install the rack back in the dishwasher, we'll start by opening the door and then we'll pull the rack rails forward. We'll engage one of the rear wheels first and then the opposite side. And then engage the front wheels, push the rack all the way back in. Now when installing the rack stops, we want to make sure that we have the top side that has the tab that will depress. Line those up. Push it firmly down until it's engaged. Do the same on the opposite side. Make sure that the spray arm lines up with the outlet at the back of the tub. And our repair is complete.